Okay guys, this is a video to show you how to change a cutter comp or the decomp of the tool. I'm gonna to get out of this page, first of all. Let's say you're on any screen, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna go to the parameter screen. And you wanna change the cutter comp for tool 12. All you have to do is simply go to the tool page. Doesn't matter if you're in automatic mode, MDI, or manual mode, just go to the tool page. Select the tool number you want to change the cutter comp for. Tool 12 is selected right now. I'm gonna do another tool, just so you guys can see. I'm gonna say tool four right here. Again, don't go by this list for tool number, this is the pot number. Go to by tool number right here and search. Select tool four. Double check you got the right tool selected by looking up here, it says tool number. And as you can see, it has cutter comp right here. Select this top right box change your cutter comp. It's going to change your D comp. This is your Z comp, your Z offset number. This is your D offset number. Now you can either set it and add it. Right now it's at negative two tenths. If I press the set button, I have to press set first, F1, and type in 0 .001, which is 1,000. It just put exactly that number in the top right corner. You can see that. Now, I want to take it back to negative two tenths. I can either type set, say negative two tenths, and I'll take it back, or I can let the machine do math. So, while this is selected here, go to F2, add negative point zero zero one two doing the math, or press enter, or the right button, it did the math from positive 1,000 to negative 210. It would have been easier, yes, to press set and type in negative 210, but for demonstration purposes, I want to show you the difference between both of those buttons. Thank you guys.